all right guys so as you know i've got a 2015 harley davidson a little uh electric light ultra limited and it is the twin cam 103 and it has the twin cooled heads <clears throat> and if you do any research on those at all you may come across some posts talking about how trash the water pumps on those were from 14 15 and 16 year models uh they're just a small uh, external electric pump that uh, pumps just like 1.1 quarts of coolant uh, from uh, the heads through two radiators and a thermostat and a bunch of piping and then coolant and uh, the pumps have a tendency to go out now mine has not gone out yet but man looking online it's it's one of those things where it's not really a matter of uh, if it's when for the most part like I've seen one or two people that got about 80,000 miles out of theirs before it quit but for the most part um, the pumps seem to either go out well they just go out randomly but I mean they could go out at 8,000 miles they could go out at 20,000 miles but they typically go out somewhere under 30,000 miles and uh, my bike is right at 17,000 miles now and uh, I take it on long trips i really don't want to have to run into uh, my water pump going out while i'm out on the road especially if i'm on a big trip out west now whether or not you can run the twin cooled engines with the broken pump that's kind of a debate i've heard a lot of people say that their dealerships told them to go ahead and ride the bike even if you're away from home but just be mindful of like stop and go traffic you might have to uh, you know kill the bike and cool it off a little bit now that's what i've heard <clears throat> i would say if it happens to you call your dealer and have them tell you personally i wouldn't just take someone's word for it but i'm not really calling them liars either so <clears throat> anyway i want to go ahead and replace mine and harley came out with a new water pump for the milwaukee eights in 2017 and then uh like last year in 2019 they came out with a kit where you can retrofit the m8 pump on the twin cooled twin cam bikes so that's what we have here today this is an entire kit comes with a new pump new hoses o-rings um, clamps and a new bracket to hold the new water pump in place since it's a it's a different design so the old bracket doesn't work so we're going to cut this open and this box is so waterlogged can't really, doesn't really want to cut but i mean there we go cut that tape a little bit so this is going to kind of be an unboxing at this moment but i do plan to um, film the install of this i've got a bottle of coolant and the wife is running to the dealership on her way home to get me two more bottles uh, from what I understand the coolant system on these takes 1.1 quarts which is like 35 ounces or so uh, each bottle is 16 ounces I've already used one or two ounces of this so two bottles um, won't really get it but three will for sure so you're gonna need that and there's something else you're going to need and i'm going to show that to you here in a minute all right here we go <clears throat> We got a bunch of hoses. Here's the bracket. Here is all the hardware, and man, that is a lot of stuff. I'm going to show you something on here real quick because there's a couple different kinds of clamps on here. 
So you can see we got a lot of zip ties in there. But Harley also does this, which is pretty cool, and I very much appreciate this. This is just a normal hose clamp, and see that yellow thing holds the clamp open for you until you've got the whole system on and situated just like you want. And then you can come back and snatch these yellow things off, and these, ho these hose clamps will pop into place. So that's really cool. Thank you very much for that. Uh, I hope those don't pop off <laughs> before I need them to. Uh, we got some a little wiring harness here. Uh, there's some instructions. I hope those are better than the ones that Street Bob Tony had for his um, cruise control. Here's a funny looking zip tie with a Christmas tree on it. Uh, another one of these clamps. We've got three of those so far. Here's four and five, so you got five clamps of, of those. Oh, and looks like there's also some rubber spaces in there. Spacers. We've got a big metal clamp. I'm sure that is for holding the pump into its bracket. And then we've got just a little bit of basic hardware. We got, come on now. It looks like we've got two tor Torx fit bolts here, and it looks like they've already got some Loctite on there. And we've got two rubber grommets. Boom, little grommets there. And then here's what I wanted to show you. Because this is what I had to buy a special tool for. See these clamps? There's three of them in there. These are, I think they're called PEX. P-E-X. And what you need for those is a uh, PEX clamp tool and I have I went and bought this. It's Shark Bite that you can get your model number and all that from there. I know that's hard to see though. Anyway, I think you can figure it out. But this is a it's a ratcheting type set of pliers, and it's going to take me a little bit I think to figure the, this thing out. But it starts out like this. You put, when you're ready to tighten this, you put the clamp down in there like that. And then you begin to ratchet it down. And it begins to just really put the torque on that thing and, and tighten it. And then it's got this little second uh, or third lever so that when you tighten it all the way, it releases that and then it pops back open. So, pretty neat tool. Uh, and then you can also, from what I understand, you can turn it sideways and like instead of clamping it like that, you clamp it like this and you can cut the old ones off. So I had to buy this and I have to tell you, it was expensive as shit. It was $70 for this thing, but at least I can tell you that this feels like a very well-built tool and I'm sure that in the future, I'm going to run into one of these uh, things again. And it will be handy to already have it. Or my dad might need them for something. So it's another tool that I had to buy, but it's a well-built one. And a useful one. Um, but we're going to put these... I'm going to put everything back in the, uh, the, the bag here. I don't want to lose anything. price the price on this kit from harley davidson is uh i think the msrp is 350 dollars that's before tax so buying this kit can be pretty pricey however i found this kit for sale 
online at a place called uh, Sir Dyke, S-U-R-D-Y-K-E, SirDyke.com or SirDykeHarley.com. I can't really remember what it was. I'm going to put this back in there. Uh, what was the name of that place? Because I, I kind of think they're a dealership, too. Tim Serdyke's Gold Star Harley. So, anyway, there's that. Here's the main event. This is the, uh, the new pump. Unfortunately, I have not pulled the old pump yet, so I have nothing like that to show you to compare it to right now, but I bet you later on I'll have uh, some comparison shots. So here's a new pump. Pureberg, that's interesting. So there's really no question who made this pump. It's kind of a funny finish right there. It feels like there's a plastic covering on it, but I don't know if there is or not. But anyway. Uh, so the, there's hose in there, hose in there, electrical connector there. Um, I believe this system is supposed to be a lot simpler than the old system because I believe it takes thermostat out. Um, I would think that would mean that this pump runs all the time, but from what I understand, it's quite the opposite. It means this pump only runs when it needs to, so I'm going to guess there's some kind of a sensor somewhere in the system that tilt that comes in through here and tells this thing when to actually turn on i don't know but uh there you go we'll look at the bracket real real quick bracket for it I'm gonna guess that little metal clamp we saw goes from here to here and then that holds on to the pump uh, I'm actually not really looking forward to doing this job I'm afraid it's gonna be a pain in the ass but who knows we'll uh, jump in there and see a uh, pretty in-depth job I've done way worse but not on anything so it's so expensive so uh, Y'all wish me luck. Um, found an old set of clippers too for cutting the old hoses out. Yeah. So you have to cut the old hoses out. You have to cut these clamps out. Um, take, you got to take off the lowers. Uh, it's it's going to be a pain in the butt. Um, but there you go. I think I've got everything I need. So I think I have set myself up for some for success here to use a a business term. Um, I think I've got everything I'm going to need. So I guess I will upload this and then the next video for me is going to be an install <clears throat> on this thing. So y'all have a good one and we're going to catch y'all later.